Well, Senator Mike Braun of Indiana says he's got a balanced budget plan. You know we have high standards here. It's got to be a good one. Better be a good one. Anyway, good evening, Senator Braun. I was reading the outline of your balanced budget plan, and I thought it looked pretty darn good, sir. I think you've been taking notes from the Cudlow uh, show. That's what I think. Tell us about so, it. It's good, Larry, when you have a plan when there's not been one for nearly 10 or 11 years. I got here three and a half years ago, and to put it in context, we were 18 trillion in debt. We're now 30, and our fearless leader just put out a blueprint that shrugs off trillion and a half dollar deficits over the next 10 years that takes us to 45 trillion in debt in 2032. That is shameful. That's borrowing from our kids and grandkids. And all I'm saying is have a little political will. This tapers us into a balanced budget over 10 years. For any CEO, Larry, this would be a chip shot to have something that would be so easy to do. Here, everything is sacrosanct. Uh, we don't budge on defense. This keeps defense robust over the next 10 years. Part of the unholy alliance that gives Democrats everything they want. Voila, we're another trillion dollars in debt. Now that's going up to a trillion and a half. This puts a stop to it. I'm exercising the privilege that if we don't do a budget in the budget committee, Senator Sanders runs that now. Any senator can go to the floor and say, this is my plan. You know, a uh, couple things, Senator, that jumped out at me. First of all, you uh, permanently extend the Trump tax cuts so you have a growth budget, which is terribly important. Um, and secondly, I want to read you uh, $375 billion in non-entitlement mandatory spending. Uh, put it back to the discretionary side of the ledger. Uh, just let me be clear. You're talking about what we sometimes call the small entitlements. Welfare, uh, housing subsidies, correct me if I'm wrong, food stamps, um, unemployment compensation, unemployment benefits, and, and also I'm assuming you would restore workfare into those entitlements. So, A, they can be cut back, and B, they must be subjected to workfare. Is that, is that fair? Is that part of your plan? That is fair, and it offsets where we've been ingenious over the years. You hear about sequester, you hear about budget caps. They get rid of that within a year or two after they do it. And the other gimmick that no one really hears about is all of a sudden, so you don't have to do the budgeting, it's taking whatever your pet project is and saying it's on autopilot, just like Medicare and Social Security. That is what has taken us into kind of budget dereliction, avoids the responsibility. I'm an appropriator. We end up not even appropriating by the end of our fiscal year. This past year, we didn't get the last year's spending bills done until like February. The whole thing has really gotten to where there's lack of responsibility, political will to do the right things. I, I mean, I just think you're a thousand percent right on this. This is such an important point. I hope you never lose it and keep fighting for it no matter what happens. So important. The other thing is, uh, Senator Braun, um, I, I think we should have a domestic freeze in general. And uh, if you break the freeze, you have to pay sequestration, across the board penalty. I don't mean a freeze in the current services baseline, which always goes up. I mean a freeze in the level a real freeze. from the year, a yeah. year ago. You know, this is my, my friend and mentor, Phil Graham, invented this, I don't know, 30, 35 years ago. And I think it's as important today as it was then. Give you the last word. No doubt about it. Uh, that needs to be part of the mentality. And I do want to emphasize what you said earlier. I ran a business for 37 years, just looked at what was working pre-COVID. That was the Tax Cut and Jobs Act that took revenues to record levels, almost got the CBO to reconsider what they said was going to be a $1.5 trillion. That was almost neutral. And now the dams in this Build Back Better discussion are wanting to get rid of the Main Street tax breaks that have been driving the economy. I'm glad you brought that up. We can't ever go there, and those are kept with my budget. Senator Braun, I'm going to tell you, sir, it's a great plan. How's that? It's a great plan. I mean it. Well done. Well, well thought out. I'm, we, 
We I'm got glad good... you're for it, and I'll take it to the floor probably next week. Well, good. All right, terrific stuff. Maybe you'll come back and talk some more about it. Thank you, Senator Mike Brown. We Appreciate will. it very Amen. much.